name is Paige, welcome to my channel. So today I am back with Emily and Troy because we are about to do another video together at her house because this was entirely her idea. Um, in the spirit of Harry Potter's birthday, which passed, what, a couple days ago? It was yesterday. Yeah, so. it was yesterday. Um, you won't be seeing this until later, but it was yesterday. So in the spirit of his birthday, we decided to do a video of us baking him a cake you know, inspired by the one that Hagrid made him, and also do some Harry Potter trivia. There will be kind of a series of these kind of videos because next week we'll, we will be joined by my grandma, and she's super cute, so that'll be fun. Um, we'll, we'll bake some other interesting things that you have to wait and see about. So stay tuned for that video, and I hope you enjoy this one because we're gonna make a cake. We're gonna make a cake. Yay! <laughs> wanted to show you the cute little decorations that Emily set up today. So, so cute. Thank you. you got um, the Whomping Willow. Got a terrified Ron and Harry. Um, got Buckbeak. You got Hagrid, Hagrid's hut. Super cute. You can look inside the window. Yeah. Okay. And then she brought out her really cute graphic editions of Harry Potter and then obviously she really likes Legos so <laughs> these are these are her Legos <laughs> so you got McGonagall and um, Dumbledore there so now we film text tone that tells Troy which one of us I guess buzzed in first um actually got this idea from our professor so thanks Dr. McDaniel this is a really good idea all right all right wait, welcome wait, to wait, wait. welcome to Harry Potter wait. trivia all right all right <laughs> What magical creature pulls the Hogwarts carriages? Festival. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even call on you. Alright. 
What is the book Hermione supposes Voldemort used to learn about the Horcruxes? What book? Page. The Darkest Arts? I don't know. I will take that. Really? It's secret, yes! It's, it's Secret of Darkest Art. Yes. All right. What professor was rumored to be a dueling champion in his youth? Emily. Mag? No. Yeah. Paige. Um, Dumbledore? No. Lupin? No. Yeah. Uh, Snape. I'm sorry. The answer, <laughs> the answer is Flitwick. What? <laughs> I don't even remember that. I mean, was that like a, maybe I remember like a vague mention of maybe. No. I don't know. Professor <laughs> Slughorn yes. teaches his students that... <laughs> Amortentia yes. smells different to each person. What does Harry smell? Paige. Oops. I thought it was her oh name. No, no. Um, he smells Jenny. <laughs> no. Lemon and something? No. Okay, the broomstick cleaner. No. No, it is treacle tart. Oh. I I was thinking of her mom. I I got too confident. I know from when I was like. Where is the Slytherin common room located? The dungeons. Yes. <laughs> All right, now on to a very interesting question, and probably my favorite. Oh no. Oh, no. In order. In order. <laughs> who were the six Defense Against the Dark Arts teachers that taught at Hogwarts? Okay, so. Sir Quarrel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hold on. It's, um... Who was in between him and Lupin? Four. <laughs> no! Three. <laughs> two. One. Oh I'm sorry, Emily. Paige, would you like to give it a try? Um, okay, so... In order. Quarrel? Yes. Was it... <laughs> Fine! Okay. I can't remember who it was! It is Coral Lockhart. Oh, I <laughs> myself. No. Lupin. No, Moody, we know the rest. Of we the know the rest. Why did I forget? Oh my god. And Snape. It's because nobody likes him. Nobody likes Coral either. But you know, his character is a little I'm more sorry. interesting. That's really actually. I'm really sorry. I'm actually ladies. disappointed I'm really in sorry. myself. I'm really sorry. That's it's really okay. Sad. It's okay. We're on to another easier one. Hard. But sort of easy if you really are a Harry That was Potter, supposed to be easy. If you really are <laughs> that a Harry was Potter supposed Potter to be easy. Fan. Are you ready for this? No, apparently we're not. How many staircases does Hogwarts have? 142. There we go. What the <laughs> <laughs> What numbers would you dial to enter the Ministry of Magic from the London telephone booth? Oh no! <laughs> Is it zero, zero, zero? No. Okay. It is six, two, four, four, two. And on a magic. dial phone, that spells magic. Yeah. Um, I knew it spelled magic, but I couldn't remember the numbers. Either. By their real names, who are the four marauders? Sirius Black, uh, Remus Lupin, um, uh, Peter Pettigrew, and um, <laughs> uh, Jane Potter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By their nicknames. Is that is a different same question? question? Yeah, it's another question. Uh, Padfoot, Prong. Oh, does it have to be in order? No. You didn't say. Okay, Padfoot, Prongs, Mooney, and. Um, hmm. 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 Uh, what the heck? Four. No! The rat guy! <laughs> Two. Scammers. Nope. <laughs> One. I'm sorry, Emily. <laughs> And? Yeah. Okay, all right, this one is from the book. As far as I know, this is from the books specifically. Okay. What does the acronym SPEW stand for? S-P-E-W. Society... F Wait. <laughs> Society for something and elves in the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> It has, yeah, it has to do with 
bring the... I don't know, man. I'm sorry, ladies. It is Society for the Promotion Dang of Elvish whale Welfare. Ah. So not Whalefare. Whalefare. <laughs> <laughs> Elvish yeah. Whalefare. Whalefare. All right, and we're on to our last question of this round. Okay. Who's ready? Bam, 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 bam. All right. I'm kind of scared to ask this. This is another very easy question, but I need first and last names. Oh God! Who are the four competitors in Goblet of Fire's Triwizard Tournament? <laughs> ah, who's Um, oh, what's your name? Uh, Jeff. 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 J
We answered that together. I ain't letting you win that one because we started at the same time. <laughs> uh, I, I gave you both points. Word for word, like exact words. Yes. No deviation from the exact words. Mm -hmm. What does Umbridge have Harry write? No. I must not tell us. Like 6,000 words. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm just mesmerized by the icing. What? What? Just Hogwarts? <laughs> yeah, you, you're really slow to the draw here. You didn't even have to make a, 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 a ringtone. You could focus. just shout the answer. I can't even you, focus. I'm but just you're like... you're not shouting the answer. Alright, what Hogwarts house was Merlin from? He was from the Center. There you go. What is the first password used in Gryffindor Tower? Let me drop. Nope. Nope. Ah! No! Wrong. No! 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 no, no. <laughs> Calm down. You stop right now. You, you and Harry Potter. What is this? You stop. It's pages two. <laughs> um. The first pass for views in Gryffindor Tower. I don't want to say it wrong again. I'll say it wrong anyways. Caput Draconis. Ooh, I don't know. Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, Caput, I don't remember that at all. Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis, yeah. What is the first chapter in Chamber of Secrets? The name of the first chapter. The Chamber of Secrets. The Chamber of Secrets. First chapter. What is the name of it? Dobby? No. I feel like you're making me feel like I don't know anything about Harry Potter. It makes me feel sad. No, no letters from friends or something. No, this one's rough. The worst birthday. I wouldn't have gotten that one. Hold this. Put your finger right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't talk to me while I'm doing this, Troy. Hagrid is actually a master. <laughs> like he, he's just a culinary expert. His rock cakes are the best I've heard. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fantastic. Look. I even we even put our own little bad spin on it with an E on the side. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, alright. We finished. Should we try it now? Yeah. I feel kind of sad to cut a cake immediately after decorating <laughs> it, but, you know. Oh well. Okay. Here we go. Bye, Harry. It's a nice song. Your piece. Yay. Come over here and try. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Fork you. <laughs> and here's a fork for me. It's a very light, chocolatey kind of cake. It's definitely a focus on the cake. Yep. Yep. Alright. Ready? <clears throat> Ready? Yep. Okay. 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 Happy birthday, Harry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Harry. You're almost 40. Um, how are the kids? <laughs> you have there, Tiger. Oh wait, you have more questions for us. I do have more questions. Alright. Kate's gonna go for <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> yeah. Alright. What fruit do you have to tickle to enter the Hogwarts kitchen? Um, is it a pear? Yes. Why? <laughs> because it's like a portrait. Of something, and you have to like tickle it to get into the kitchens. It's weird. It's a weird thing to do. See, like I know the weirdest, stupidest things, <laughs> but like I wouldn't. I didn't know Professor Lockhart. Like neither did I. Yeah, but like how do I just? On to the next question. What is Luna Lovegood's Patronus? <laughs> it's a fox. No. No. Bunny. Yeah. It's a rabbit. I'll take it. It's a hare. Yeah. It's a hare. It's a 
<laughs> in the Quidditch World Cup, Ireland's team had three main chasers, Mullet, Troy, and Moran. Yeah. Which one scored the first goal? Troy. Tri Moran. She got it right. Mm. Do, do, do. Alright, for Harry's 17th birthday, what color did Hermione turn the leaves of the Weasley's crab apple tree? Purple? No. Gold? Yes. Okay. Three more. Okay, three more. Dumbledore has a scar <laughs> of his left knee that has a perfect... A perfect on the ground! ground. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say London on the ground? <laughs> yes. Did you also I say I said map of London under... But I don't know if I got the full word out, but I definitely under... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> London, London! <laughs> Mom's hood and wolf's bane are the same plant, and they are also known as what? Well, it's just an A, but I don't know what it is. Oh! <laughs> oh! Um... But, Aconite? I don't know. I don't know. Aconite? I remember him, that was like the first question or whatever, but I don't remember. I didn't learn anything from Snape either. No, <laughs> this is it. This is it. All right. What is nearly headless Nick's full name? It's something with a P, something crazy. Yeah, P, but... like a... There's like Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. Oh, de Mimsy! I should have gotten. And the winner is Brrrps Page by one point. Thank God, Ooh. because I was like, if I lose this challenge too, I'm sad. You lose, you lose by one point, Emily. My apologies. Thanks for coming out to Harry Potter <laughs> Trivia. Paige gets... Uh, a cake! A cake! Da, 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 Not really, because I missed a button. There we go. Okay guys, so that was it for this video. Um, not that that was any short amount of time. We spent uh, like three hours on this cake right here, which is kind of ugly. But hey, it's supposed to be, so it's fine. Um, like I said, next week we're going to be back with my grandma. We're going to be making a couple other recipes. One will be from Harry Potter, so if you like this video, then stay tuned for that video. If you guys have any suggestions as to other bookish things that we could bake or cook or anything like that, um, let us know and we'll try not to make them as bad as this cake. Or we will, because it's kind yeah. of funny, right? <laughs> or it's just annoying, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week on Thursday. By the way, um, where's Troy? Mm -hmm. Accio. Troy.